Matthew's excited to kind of launch kind of the next phase uh, and roll out a big, big, big thing uh, that they've been working on behind the scenes with CRM Grow, um, how they're able to actually load agents into our database that are not with EXP that we can actually work together uh, and prospect together and help them, you know, hopefully eventually get them over to EXP. So without further ado, I want to introduce my good friend, Matthew Ron. Matthew, how are you doing, my friend? Awesome, man. Yeah, so I've, I've been with EXP for quite some time now. Um, my organization isn't quite Pat's size, but it's, it's about 10% of it. So, um, and I, I made a funny turn. I went from actively attracting to trying to figure out how to help people attract. And it's just because that's what I enjoy doing. Um, financially, it would have been smarter for me just to keep attracting. But I, I really like systems and puzzles and attraction is a big, massive puzzle. And, and the thing to remember is it's, you don't have to replicate an alpha. You, you just need to find what you're good at and what you'll do every day and do it every day. And when people fail at attracting, it's because they just give up really quick. It's not easy, right? And you're gonna get no's and there's gonna be disappointments, um, but you have to keep at it. That's the difference between a beta and somebody who's got one or two, or a, the difference between an alpha and a beta is the alpha just kind of kept going, right? So the other thing I wanna say is, I was only one year in real estate, right? And I was the fourth person to get 40 level one agents at EXP. So set aside the notion that you need to be some mega anything. You don't need to be a YouTube star. You don't need to be a mega whatever. You don't need to be a team leader. You don't, you literally just need to be a person that can talk to people, find out their pain and, and, and solve it, right? So don't, I mean, being a YouTube star is great. All those are great, but don't not do it because you're not. Don't be like, well, once I'm a high producer, I'm going to go do it. Or once I have 2,000 followers, I'm going to go do it. Don't just go do it, right? Because there's tons of people that want to join people that aren't a mega. There's tons of people that don't want to live in the shadow of somebody else. So there's people for everybody, and you just got to go out there and do it and do it. And that's what CRM Grow is kind of set up for is to make sure you don't drop the ball. I, I joke with Pat. I've lost more level one agents than I have because I stopped following up with them. We all, we probably all have, right? And that's financially irresponsible. And so I went from a sticky note system, right? To a computer system because computer systems don't drop behind your desk, right? They're always in front of you. And so I'm gonna just do a, a screen share real quick. And the first thing I wanna really show is the feature that's releasing in, in about two to three weeks. All right. Now, this is something that, that's been like a huge project on my mind for a long time because there's a kind of a barrier of entry. When you go to attract, you tell your friends and family, your local network, you get on social a little bit, but eventually you exhaust all the people you know. And that's why most DXP agents attract three people. It's that whole network marketing paradigm. Once you've exhausted your list of who you know, then people get stuck. They're like, what do I do now? And you have some options. You can spend a ton of money to buy lists, to hire teams, to hire assistants, right? But that's not feasible for most people. Or you can you can go to showing time and buy the list from your MLS, but that geographically locks you into just growing. And the beauty of EXP is to not just grow in your market. You want to grow in many markets. It makes you more recession-proof, right? You want to diversify your organization. And so I set, up, I set out two years ago to come up with a system that allows agents to get agents anywhere in the U.S. without having to buy Breakthrough Broker, without having to buy big lists. And so we're launching this free if you have a CRM Grow account. And what it's going to do, I want to just show you real quick on our development server. So this isn't the final product. But I, want to I want you to understand the flow of what's about to happen here. If you have a pro account before this goes live, in about three weeks, we're gonna allow you to get two agents per day, Monday through Friday, in your CRM that you didn't know before. That gives you a chance to make contact and grow a relationship. That's 40 a month, that's almost 500 a year, right? That means even if you really suck at it and only close 1%, you're going, you're putting about five level ones in your organization above and beyond what you were already doing, right? And so what happens is, you're gonna be able to create this filter and you're gonna pick what state do you want the agents coming from, right? 
Idaho, maybe it's Idaho. And then there's going to be three levels. Do you want a low producer, a medium producer, and a high producer? And this is development, so these don't make sense to you. But these represent low, medium, or high. So you pick what kind of agent, because these are all different stories. A low producing agent might be new. That, that's a mentor type relationship. That's a different conversation. A high producer, that's an icon conversation, right? Like, so each three of these buckets are different conversations. And then you'd save it. And then you can create up to two. So you could have Idaho and let's say Arizona. And you'd have both of them there, right? And then every day. Agents are going to show up and you're going to get to review them. And if you want them, you're going to be able to add them to your CRM and then take, get your at-bats. Now, I want you to really understand the true power of this. If Pat brings in 10 level ones, that's great. But instead of Pat doing that, if, if Pat's whole organization just got one, that's way better for Pat, right? If everybody in Pat's organization got one person, his rev share checks would go to, you know, and it, they would more than double, right? So think of this as a leader of your organization, which we all should be aspiring to be in some way, shape, or form. Even if you only get two or three, when people in your group are doing this, they are bringing in more people, and that's going to, the quicker that happens, the, the, the quicker you're financially free, right? Like I stopped producing a year after I joined EXP because I just didn't have to anymore. Now, I probably shouldn't have shut it down to totally, but I did. Um, but we all would like to get to that point where we at least have the option to slow down or be more picky about what the deals we do. And the way to do that is to get an organization and show people in your organization how to grow. And so right here, if you don't have an extra penny to your name, and as long as you have a pro account, which is only $49 a month, you're going to get opportunities to reach out to people. You can text them, you can call them, you can be able to email them, you can be able to do whatever you want. You can add them to your you know, YouTube or Facebook, you can target them in any way you, you wanna do beyond our system, you can do that. So this is gonna be a big deal. If you have an elite account, you're gonna get five agents per day. So you're gonna get about 1200 agents a year, right? Uh, what, like how different would your organization look if you had the opportunity to speak to 1200 extra agents every year. And, and so the big objection people say is, well, I can just go and get the list off Zillow and you 100% you can. The problem is, is most people don't have the time or energy to go do that, right? So this is just gonna automatically throw them in there for you. Then you can just work them the way you want, right? Or you can give them to people in your organization. So that's that, I wanted to show that feature because there's a call to action if you sign up before it goes live, you can get it at the pro level. Once it's live, you're gonna to have to be an elite account to have this opportunity. And this is just version one, folks. Version two of this is gonna allow you to see things like, I just wanna target agents that have just moved to a different state, or I just wanna tar tar uh, target agents that have just gone through a divorce, or I just wanna target agents that have had a 50% increase in production, right? There's these key triggers that make people more open to opportunity. And usually when a life situation gets thrown on them people's people perk up and are way more susceptible way more open to opportunity especially if their life's in a little bit of crisis because they're looking for solutions right so version two of this is you're going to be able to actually identify crisis points where they might be more open to the conversation all right so let's get back to like like why would i pay 49 dollars for this right like i can i got kv core for free what a, why why would i do it Matt, and, uh, yeah. Sorry to butt in. This You're is fine. good. Thank you. Um, so are you saying that if we already have the pro, that we would get these leads, and then we would also get the second thing coming about the agents looking for solutions with a pro account still? Yeah. Once once we get the version, two, yeah. One, this will evolve over time and get better. Yeah. When yep. are you expecting that other version? The agents probably Q four or Q one of twenty twenty four. Okay, thank you. Yep. All right. So my whole point of CRM Grow really is to be a platform where agents can go find agents and they don't have to spend tons of money to do it. And they don't need to have influence to do it. Right. And so we're going to drive pretty deep down this channel now that, that we have the opportunity in the data. So what happened, the only reason we can do this is 
about a year and a half ago, I went out to find a buyer for CRM Grow. I knew I couldn't do it alone. And so I targeted two companies to purchase us, right? And over that period, I convinced one of them to actually do it. So the last day of last year, we were purchased by a data company who's been in the real estate space for almost 20 years. Everybody knows who they are. I can't publicly say who they are yet. Um, we will be having a big release in Q4, and then everybody will know who it is. But it's somebody you all know. It's not a brokerage, but they are a leader in the data space in real estate. And so now you're going to see CRM grow, starting to use things with data backing it. And so you're going to start to see some really cool stuff happening. Um, so let me just build some quick value because if you're like, I'm, I, I have KV Core, I'm not, I don't want to pay $49 a month. The first thing we do that's worth it just on its own, right? And, I, and I've, I've shown this so many times to Pat's group. I know you all have seen it a lot, but we do uh, video monitoring, right? So we let you know how much of a video somebody's watched. And I know BombBomb Bomb does this, and there's a couple other solutions that do it. But the thing is, um, the, the difference is that uh, I was in somebody else's account doing troubleshooting. I think I didn't do too much. I would have busted their account up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One second. All right. So the thing is, is when you see, when you send somebody a video, if you don't know what they're watching, um, it doesn't really do you much good, right? And so as soon as you can understand what they're watching, and how much of it you're watching, the metrics you get are so much better. And it allows you uh, to either update your video, change your video, know when to contact them. So let me just show you real quick. I go into myself as a contact and I wanna send an email. Right, and I'm gonna say something like, have you heard of EXP or something like that? And when I hit materials, I can, I can attach a video, right? And we have this nine minute video, which is, blessed by exp marketing and legal we're allowed to use it we are updating it because they made that awesome change to 30 flq flas or whatever yes so, that's huge yeah i mean that's a that's a monster change yeah so i just sent that video out and now we pray to the gods that it shows up and it did and here it is and when you play it i have it muted it starts, it concisely shows the model in nine and a half minutes, but it's not branded to anybody, right? It's, it's yours. And so if you sent this to somebody and they start watching it, but then if they scrolled it to here, they didn't see any of this middle stuff. So they don't really know what's going on there. They're not really seeing the model. And this happens a lot where somebody says, yes, yeah, send me the video. Or just like when you walk into a store and the salesperson approaches you, say, I'm just looking, please leave me alone. So you send somebody a video and, and then they bail out. So the, this person didn't watch much of that video at all. Where is my live server? There it is. So when I go back in and go to activity, it's going to show you what just happened there. Right? Where it's blue is where they've watched, where it's gray is where they've skipped. So remember I, I slid the slider, we watched for a moment and then I slid it again. So they've completed 6% of this video. Now, as soon as they start watching, you're gonna get a text or an email depending on how you set up your notifications. And that's the exact moment you wanna reach out, right? You wanna be like, hey Jared, I know you sent, I sent you that video. I just wanted to know, did you get a chance to watch it? And what did you love most about it, right? Don't ask them what they thought about it. Ask them what they love most about it. And when they tell you, your success rate's gonna go up a lot. Just, I, I talk to people all the time. And although I'm not attracting legitimately right now, I know what works. Talk about what they love and don't try to get them excited about something you're excited about. Yep. So you say, what did you love most? And if they say stock, don't go down revenue share. Yep. If they say icon, don't talk about stock. 
talk about what they love, man. You guys, when people are excited, they are more open to do stuff. Like if someone calls you and just like rev share, rev share, rev share, and you just don't want to attract, you're not going to join that person. Cause you're like, I'm that that's too, that's, that's, that's just not my flow. So that's why this video showcases everything about EXP because there's legitimately many different reasons why EXP is great. And none of them are really better than the other. And everybody values the, the four or five pillars in a different order than everybody else. And so you want to hit them in, love, in the order that they're excited about, right? Don't try to solve an objection that's not there. As soon as you're trying to convince them to be excited about something they're not, you're creating the objective, the objection. You're just, you're just tossing it in there. So call them up. Hey, I say in that video, did you get a chance to watch it? And if you did, what did you love most? And then talk about that. And if they say revenue share, what you're going to do is you're going to have different content about revenue share you've uploaded into your material section, whether it be videos or PDFs, right? Or images, right? And people are like, well, where do I get the content? EXP has tons of content, even if it's just PDFs, go snatch them, upload them into materials, create a little folder that says revenue share, create a little folder that says EXP world, a little folder that says uh, stock opportunity, right? And start collecting all your information in these folders and then send them the stuff in those folders as they tell you what they're excited about. The other thing that's really important is the automation. And the automation is the system doing things on your behalf, right? So just the video monitoring, if you were to go get Bomb, Bomb it would be $49 a month. And all you'd get to do is know how much of the video they watched, right? So that's why I'm saying, even if, if it's just, just that piece, right? It's, it's of equal value to Bomb, Bomb. Then on top of that, you're going to get the agent vending machine, which is going to put agents in your system every every day, Monday through Friday, right? And and that's just like two percent of everything this does. So we get to automations. Now, most people when they try to attract, they invite them to a lunch and learn. They text them once, you know, you should check out EXP. They take one swing at them, and we all know a good salesperson needs to contact somebody many times. Pat Hayes didn't call me just once. Right. Yep. It was many times and he got other people on the phone. He wouldn't go away. Right. <laughs> and eventually, <laughs> eventually I was listening. Right. And so you got to do that. And this is where the automation comes into place. So you could say new automation. Right. And let's just say I want to go old school. I'm going to start everyone off with an email. So I'd hit the plus button. I'd say new email. And I'd say some profound stuff. And then I'd attach the material to the email. So when this email goes out, it's going to have that video I wanted to see. But then I want to know if they've watched the video. So my next module I'm going to attach is the review check. And then we get to set like, hey, how much do they need to watch before it triggers that they watched it? And I want someone to watch at least half the video. So now when someone watches this video, if they shut it down and it's only 49%, they're still considered a no. They didn't watch it. And, and, um, and really what I want to do is focus over here because I need the, the reds to go to green. And so what I'm going to do is say I'm going to give them three days to watch it, right? I'm going to give them a little time. I'm not going to be all over them. But the next time I'm going to send a text. I'm going to send it three days after. So it delays three days. I'm going to say, hey, I know we're all busy. If you wanted to watch that video, here it is. And I'm going to attach it again. So now they've, sh they've gotten an email. Three days have gone by. They haven't watched at least 50%. They now got it on their phone, right? And I'm not going to let them off the hook, man. I'm going to review it again. I can set it to 50. And now I have many options. I could just add them to a different automation that's more of a long-term nurture. I could drop a ringless voicemail on them. You could record it right here in the, in, in the, in the solution. Time delay it. I, I, I'm not a huge fan of these guys. Use these like sparingly because everybody knows it's happening and no one really loves them, uh, but it's there anyway. What I would do is I would set a task to yourself maybe three days after. 
that says, you know, follow up, not taking action, right? And this could be a phone or it could just be a note, right? And you set that and now it's going to put a task on your taskbar to like, hey, you've tried to reach out to this person. They said they wanted to, to watch it and, then, and a week has gone by and they haven't taken any action. And you can do whatever you need to do at this point. Or you could just put them, what I would do is I would make another automation and put them on it. So that's that. What I really want to show you now is a, a step beyond that. Remember I said, find out what they're excited about. And we, I don't know if you, have you guys ever read those choose your own adventure books as a kid where it says, if you want little Johnny to go through the fiery door, turn to page 57. If you want him to go eat a sandwich, turn to page 74, right? And you get to affect the story by your choices. Well, I think we need to do that in software. And so I had my team, although they didn't want to do it, they thought it was dumb. I was like, we need to give the people the ability to choose their own adventure. So we attach an email in the video, same automation, right? It's going out. We're going to check to see if they watched it. Same thing, right? Same steps. And if this seems overwhelming, once you build a couple, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. But let's say they've watched it. Okay, now, now we're on to something. Where is my... We have something here called contact condition. And what this is, is I've set up a form that pops up in the video at the end that says, hey, what did you love most? And there's five choices and they're gonna pick. Now they're not always gonna pick, but a lot of times they're gonna pick. My form I made is called most liked about EXP and it just says, hey, what did you love most about the video? And their choices are EXP world, revenue share, training and education, stock equity. And I'm sure there's more now because like to get, to be fully tuned into EXP and what they're doing, you have to almost constantly be studying it. But watch what happens. It looks scary, but just don't freak out. Mm -hmm. These are just choices. Think of these as pages in the Choose Your Own Adventure book. They've just watched the video. They've just been for the first time exposed in nine minutes to everything EXP has. Then it's saying, what did you love most? When they pick one, it actually adds it to their contact record. And then we read it. And if they pick revenue share, what you're going to have done is you're going to have made an automation that over the next month sends them content about revenue share and how it's affecting people. If they put EXP world, you're going to put them on your EXP world automation. And it's as easy as this. You just click it, you pick automation, and let's just pretend this one, this is solar. Let's pretend it says revenue share. And let's pretend this automation says EXP world. So you just attach the automation that's really just going to send them content down that specialization. And now you're talking to their excitement without even thinking about it. You also know what to talk to them about from now on, because you're going to look at the contact record and be like, dude, Jared picked revenue share. I'm going to get the revenue share guru in my line to call, do a three-way call or training and education. I'm going to get certified trainer in my organization to call them and talk about the value, right? There's different people you want on three-way calls. You, you don't, there's no one shy person that does them all well. You want to get a specialized person on that three-way, right? And this is going to allow you to identify what the, the agent loves and then really, really fixate on that and, and convert them at a much higher level. All right, so those are, now automations are gonna do a lot more thing, a lot, lot more real soon, right? Because now CRM Grow isn't just a company with 10 developers, it's a company with hundreds of developers, right? Because we were acquired. So there's a lot going on in the background. Um, a couple more things you're gonna be able to do very soon is you're gonna be able to pull geo leads if you're talking about production, right? So we're gonna give you like, if you're on the pro plane, you're going to get 50 geo leads for free, which means if you're doing an open house, you're going to be able to pull all the houses around it and prospect them, right? If you're, you know, if you have the elite account, you're going to get more than 50. So we're adding all these little data, like uh, gold nuggets in there for you to be able to use this at a much higher level without actually upcharging you for the actual product. 
the most exciting thing we're adding to automations, um, and I know I'm talking about what we're doing real soon, but it's it's kind of like we've been heads down building. And so all this stuff's about to release real soon. Right now you can email people, you can call them, you can text them real soon. You're going to be able to send stuff to their mailbox. So all the people doing send out cards or AM cards or whatever cards without paying for a subscription, you're going to get the lowest rate possible and be able to add, add it to your automation. So imagine you did a lunch and learn and you collected everybody's information. And after the lunch and learn, you get to actually send them a handwritten note that says, hey, man, I appreciate that you attended the lunch and learn. Here's a $5 gift card to Starbucks, right? And if you have any questions, whatever. Now, they don't, you don't actually get charged for the gift card unless they use it. And we all know that like 80% of cards never get charged or used. So you're actually adding value without spending any money. And you get to follow up in their mailbox, which is super effective right now because everybody's blowing everybody up on the phone. Yep. Wow. Yeah. And so the mailbox piece is huge because think of your, your production, think of any business you're running. Now you're going to be able to just slide that to them as well. Um, and then the other piece we're doing real soon and, and, and the AI piece and the agent vending machine are releasing at the same time. And so I just wanted to show you where I, uh, what are, what our AI is doing. And so if you're going to go in and email somebody, you're going to be able to just say, get help with AI. And it's going to throw out this board. Now, this isn't live yet. What, what we're doing different is you're going to be able to pick the personality right here. Like if you pick recruiter, it's priming the AI to be an expert EXP recruiter. So it's preloading a prompt you can't see that has all the rules about EXP, it has all the great things about EXP, all the stuff, and it has some influencer stuff in there, right? And so then you would say, um, let's just do this real live, hopefully it works. Write an email. Um, why a color? So write an email why a Keller, Keller Williams agent should join the EXP Realty. Now, I don't suggest you do live things like this on demos because let it think for a minute and hope, hopefully it'll kick out an answer and, and we'll see what it does. And whenever you use an AI, don't just like believe it and send it, proofread it because it can get weird sometimes. Yep. But the, the whole point of this is most people, the, the, the question I get asked most folks is, can you give me an automation? Can you give me the email? Can you tell me what to do or say? And um, I always say no, because when you're attracting, if your flavor isn't in it, if you haven't seasoned it with you, it's not going to work. Like Pat Hayes can't convince somebody to join you, right? So let's add some stuff. Let's insert it. We'll just do a quick scan, right? Age of benefits, state-of-the-art technology. Development. You have many successful KW agents like yourself for making the switch, right? And this could be just a quick starting point. Like take this and That's edit great. it, you know, or, or you can bring it back and have the AI shorten it, or you can have the AI make it more humorous, or you can, right? right? So this is going to be in every text modal and every email modal and every template. So you're going to be able to invoke AI to help you create content. Right, it's just a great start. Yeah, if, if, you, if, if you're just stuck and don't know where to start, start there. Exactly. Yeah. All right. When is that gonna be available? Uh, it's gonna release simultaneously with uh, the agent vending machine. So. When is my, that? <laughs> <laughs> you wanna take, don't you? Um, so, say three, three weeks? Hold on. And is it available with the pro version? Yes. Uh, my goal is the 11th, and if I'm being honest, it'll probably be the 18th. Because <laughs> I'm ag I'm aggressive with, with my goals, but um, yeah. So it's 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 August. It's for sure we're launching in August. They're in, they're in they're in our server now where we're testing it with our test team. So which means it's super close. 
So now we're just debugging it and stuff. Hey, Matthew, I've got a quick question real quick. Um, yeah. Maybe I maybe I misheard one of the things that you said, but I think it had to uh, it was in reference to the vending machine and pro and elite level. Did you say that there was something that you needed to opt into prior to the release? Yeah. So my call to action is I'm just trying to get more people on the platform. The agent vending machine is a premium feature, which we should be charging for. But what I'm saying is if you get a CRM grow account at the pro level, before we go live with the feature, oh, okay. then we're okay. going to allow all those pro members to keep it. Um, if, if, if you don't, you can still get it. You just have to pay $99 a month instead of 49. That, Got it. I was, yeah. yeah, I just wanted to make sure I was clear. Cause I, I have the, the pro version already. I just wasn't sure if you, if there was an, a, a, a CTA for, if you already had it, you're saying. No, not at all. It's just going to show okay. up one day. Gotcha. It's just going to show up. And then the, the call to action though, is if you, if you want five instead of two, you would just upgrade, right? If you're using it on a daily basis, it's worth the upgrade. If you're going to not use it, don't upgrade. Got it. Um, there, I mean, I could spend hours talking about what's coming very soon. Um, the other feature that makes us, worth it is our pipelines this was a feature that i didn't want to put in but kept people kept asking for it and what this does is it allows you to establish your process and if you don't have a process you're winging it and even if you don't have a process you do you just you just don't know it but you should have a flow of this is how i'm attracting agents and these are the stages they're going to go through or the stages they could go through that they might skip stages like someone like i've had people sign up during my first meeting with them at Burgos Bagel, right? They're really like, let's do it. And I just turned the computer around. I stopped talking. Right? If you get somebody like that, stop trying to like convince them, just turn it around with the application, right? But like, there it is, let's fill it out. But some people need to go through all your steps. Now I don't have this, this isn't actually my agent attraction steps. You can see there's some solar stuff in here. But the, the thing to focus on is each card is movable. And each card can have one or many agents in it. So this works for a single agent, a domestic team, a brokerage, whatever, right? And if I open this card and I send an email, it sends an email to everybody in it. If I send a text, it sends it to everybody in it, right? So it, it's, it's kind of it's, it treats it like a super contact, right? Because you're trying to convince this group of people to do whatever they're doing, whatever you're trying to get them to do. The other thing that's great is each stage, which is each column, if we go into manager, you can see them here and you can reorganize them if you need to reorder them. You can rename them. We have a decay timer because each stage should have a different critical timeline to it. If somebody is cold, right, 14 days is fine because they don't know you exist. There, there's, no, there's no urgency to a cold lead. Um, if it's an inbound communication, there's major urgency to that, right? It's always in a critical state. You need to respond to it. So you get to assign all these different urgency levels, but then you get to assign automations to any of the stages if you want as well. So when, when this goes from here to here, the automation is, is, is pulled off. So you wanna bring it back, the automation's put on. When I bring it over here, it gets stripped away. I wanna bring it over here, it gets tossed back on. This automation is different than this automation. So as you're, deals are going through this process, they're adopting the automation you've told it to and being treated the way they're supposed to be treated. So think of these as buckets and you're, you're, you need to treat people in different ways. The cool thing is, is you can have many of these, right? You can have an onboarding one, or maybe you have a step of how you're following people through the onboarding process. If you're letting EXP just drive it and you're not checking in, you're losing agents, I promise you. Matt, I, I don't understand how this is different than using automations that you already showed, or how do they work together, or or is it yeah, they, they, I don't understand. They, so automations is the tool that tells the system to email and text and do stuff, right? Yeah. So it's doing stuff on your behalf. This is a way of organizing your information, right? And, and, and if they go here, there's no automation. If they go here, it assigns an automation. Think of this as a visual way. If you, if you look at your database this way, which is the way I like to look at it, we have labels and tags, right? And then we can sort and filter by those. So it's just a way to organize your data. 
This is just a different way to organize your information, but in more of a visual concept. So mm -hmm. you could, some people don't use pipelines at all, but some people need to organize their information this way because when they look at this, it just numbs their brain out. They're like, what, is all, what, what does all that mean, right? And so this is a tool to make things easier for the user to, to do things with. So an automation also doesn't organize um, a process, right? It executes a sequence, but it doesn't organize an overall process. So you can have a pipeline for, you know, new buyers, right? And that might start off with buyer consultation and whatever the things you have to do in your state, right? All the way to buyer agency agreement. And you'd be moving them through the process and then you'd know on your board where each buyer is. Or you could have uh, one that says um, lunch and learns, right? There's a process to starting and doing a good lunch and learn. If you want to fill the room, you have to know what you're doing and you have to have a process. You can't just uh, be like, I hope everybody shows up to the thing. Okay, right? that was a good example. Now I get it. Thank you. Yeah. Do we have any questions? And we have yeah, like no, seven minutes yeah, left. Yeah, 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 Matt, yeah, real quick. Yeah, I was reading the chat real quick. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, can you add your own videos as well? I believe, yeah. yes, you can. Yeah, so you'd go into material, you could record yeah. one live, or you would just add video, put in the YouTube or Vimeo link there, or upload it from your desktop. We also have an iPhone app and an Android app. We also have a Chrome extension. I didn't even I didn't, I didn't even get into that. Like you can monitor how much they've watched by just sending an email. Like if I compose an email, I can add a video right from Gmail without even being logged into CRM Grow. Right. And I can send it. My computer's freaking out. You send it, but you can see here the list of emails I've sent out, right? And if you've actually sent a video, it's going to show you how much they've watched. Um, and in the Chrome extension, you could also record a video there as well. You could also create templates. Um, yeah. Yep. I love it. Questions. Let's see. Yeah. Next one. Uh, are campaigns pre-built or do we have to build them out? So right now, our marketing team is pre-building tons of content. Okay. Okay. So we're, we're, we're right now we're building content around expires and FISBOs, open houses, agent attraction. Um, and that's going to get all preloaded. Well, now there are, there is some content right now in, and I apologize. My internet is being a little wonky. Um, Right now I have, I pre-built these two and they're nothing special, but what they do is they, they just send out an email. You know that demo I made, the automation, it's just that pre-made. What I would rather do is meet with somebody in their organization and we have a 30 to one hour mastermind and we build content. Got it. Right? Like, or I'd rather have my support staff go in and help you build content because I'm trying to avoid the silver bullets. Like everybody wants to know the magical thing and there isn't one. Right. Yep. There, there, there is no magic bullet. Okay, let's see, next question here. Uh, we've got about five minutes left here. See, uh, would we qualify if we were grandfathered into the $29 per month? Yeah. There we go. There we go, Ron and Sherry. That's yes for you guys. Uh, next one, is there any way to send mass text? So, okay, this is a really cool topic because everybody wants to do it. The, the the regulation around this is getting tighter and tighter, and in August it's tightening up another notch. And so the answer to that is yes and no. How you would send text. Now, if you're asking, can I send out a thousand texts instantaneously? The answer is no, because we don't want that kind of heat from the government, right? Um, I know there's little apps that pop up and do it. Here's the problem with it. And you, the only way to audit this is to actually monitor and, and ask everybody to send a text to. But Verizon, AT&T, all these companies have their own sets of rules of who's a spammer and what am I going to deliver and what am I going to throw in the garbage? And so when KB Core or some text widget says we can mass text, they're sending them. 
they're legitimately sending them. But AT&T and Verizon, all those guys have their own net. And what they do is after the 20th time they've seen the same text, they just start tossing the rest into the garbage. And they don't tell you that. So, so usually if you think you're mass texting, you're not, you're, you're just not mass delivering. And the only way to do that is to call all the people you text and be like, hey, did you see my text? <laughs> you'd, you'd be shocked at, and, and maybe some of you guys have felt this, You're like, man, I blasted everybody. How come I don't have so many people doing the thing I said? Yep. It's because most of it never went to their phone. Oh, wow. So wow. this is how I would do it. Right now, to get around that, you can set up a, your brand on Twilio. So there's an extra step we've implemented. So there's like a $10 one-time charge and you set it up and then you have to actually tell Twilio what messages you'll be sending. This is the government getting pretty nitty gritty on stuff. So they want to know, okay, if you're going to attract agents, what are the five texts you're usually going to send? And you actually have to give them the text. And if your texts don't follow those, those templates, you start going in the garbage. Wow. Right. So you, if you want to really mass text, we have one user who's sending out 30,000 to 50,000 a month and we're delivering them, but we had to go through a pretty rigorous process of showing them what we're going to text, paying the money and doing it. So the answer is yes, but it's, it's, it's not as easy as app stores want you to think it is. Got it. All right. We've got a few more questions here. Is the nine minute uh, video already in CRM grow or do we have to locate it somewhere else? So it's in there as long as you identify yourself as an EXP agent. So when you're setting up your profile, if your company says this, we preload it. If you put your team name in there or some other company, it doesn't preload. Got it. Okay, yeah. And, and then uh, yeah. to make a uh, uh, dovetail off that, uh, what comes in the materials library already? Yeah, I, I unfortunately can't show. Well, maybe I can. Here it is. Right here. The nine minute video, this old diagram video, uh, one in Spanish, a Canadian, Gov, some outdated slides that need to be updated aggressively. And it used to be a lot more and people complain, but here's the problem. We're held to a standard by EXP as to what we're supplying. So you'll, you'll notice that there used to be a lot more videos out there. And so what I would say is, is if you have all these crazy videos you want in there, just upload them from YouTube, yep. right? Build your own library, but this is the, this is the set. And you'll see like this goes approved to have this video. These are all EXP products. So the stuff you see in here have, have been approved as being okay. Yep. Honestly, uh, next question. Uh, will you be able to change states or the agents sent daily? Yeah, you'll be able, you can edit those whenever you want. If, if I went into the Arizona, I could edit it and change it right there. Right? It's no big yep. deal. Let's see here. I think, uh, let's see. And I got a quick question. Yeah, yeah. go ahead. For Matthew, does one uh, one area feed to the other? For example, when you have the pipelines and the automation, if you go into information in there, will it feed to the next area or will it not? You mean like if you went and edited an automation, would it update it in the pipeline? Is that what you mean? Yes. 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 Uh -huh. Even on the videos you make and you start sending out the links, if you went and edited that video, the, the, it automatically updates. So people that sent out an EXP video for my system three years ago, they're getting the new video now, right? Because we were it, it auto updates everything. So there's there's no bad content out there. We also do. I mean, just as a the hail mary here. I mean, we do landing pages, right? No charge. And if they watch the video on your landing page, it tracks them. We do custom smart codes. Right, which is awesome that I won't go into. And we also have a scheduler, right? So you can drop Calendly, you can make your own scheduler and just use it. That's right? awesome. It, it has all the functionality of Calendly, but it's all in-house. Um, one, and I know we're at time, the community is the biggest feature and I, I can't believe I missed it. The whole point of this guys is to let your organization know what to do. And so everybody can create their own community 
and your agents can join your community and then you can share materials, oh, automations, and templates with each other. This is where you're going to get duplication and this is where you're going to build wealth. That's huge. Yep. Love it. Well, Matthew, you want to tell everybody how to, uh, uh, how to get there. You can go to crmgrow.com. You want to do a, what is it? A seven day free trial. And again, guys, I, I have nothing involved on, I, I'm not, I'm promoting this just to help you guys. Right. And I know there is a, uh, an affiliate program, but I told Matthew, I don't want to be involved in that. I don't want to take money from the other agents. I just want to just help you guys with systems and tools to help you guys grow your agent attraction business in the real estate business. So, uh, if you guys do want to become an affiliate, you guys are more than welcome to, uh, but I don't want anything to do with it. I just want you guys to have access to uh, all the tools and the uh, systems. And, I, and I'll tell you what I was, I'm going to do. I'm going to say anybody who can get 10 people to sign up before August is over, I'll, I'll double the agents that they get per day for, for the lifetime. Well, there you go. Wow. Right. So I'll just leave and I'll, I'll talk about it more, but so if you sign up and you get 10 people to sign up by the time August is over, cause we track all that. Um, if you're on two a day, you'll get four. If you're on five a day, you'll get, you'll get 10. That is awesome. Oh, real quick, real quick. Uh, I, I just need to know. I'm sorry, it's louder here, but I just need to know if uh, the campaigns have to be built out or some of them pre built. Yeah, a little bit of both. Yeah, right now, yeah, he's got a development team that, are, that they're working on building out campaigns for us all. Yeah. The, the best way to go with campaigns, guys, I'm telling you, it's to get with the three smartest people you know and to have a mastermind to build a campaign. Because as soon as we release a campaign, that's what everybody's going to be sending. Right. When you build it yourself, it's unique. Yeah. Love it, man. Good stuff, Matthew. Wow. It's getting better and better and better, just like you said. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, but you go to serumgrow.com, start the free trial. It's two weeks for free. If you don't like us, cancel. You can cancel right from within the app. We're not trying to trick anybody. There you go, crmgrow.com. Uh, Matthew, thanks so much for your time, and thanks so much for uh, uh, doing an amazing demo. I'm excited about this, and uh, I'm ready to get to work and kind of masterminding and building campaigns and automations and all that good stuff. So, um, yeah, sign up link. Yeah, just go to uh, crmgrow.com and then uh, click uh, sign up. And then uh, what is it, uh, Matthew? Is it a seven-day trial, free trial? Uh, it's day? Four, 14 days, two weeks. 14-day free trial. There you go, guys. 14-day free trial. Cancel anytime. So not bad. Not bad at all. Awesome. Good stuff, man. Well, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Happy Friday. Happy Freedom Friday. Go out, sell some real estate, attract some agents, and sign up for your 14-day free trial if you guys have not uh, yet. CRMGrow.com. Matthew, thanks again for everything, man. Appreciate you. Uh, and I'll definitely be in touch with you too as well. So I'm super excited. And uh, I'm going to be uh, masterminding actually all day today. Uh, with um, Adam Packard uh, in regards to uh, building this stuff out uh, for my team as well. So looking forward to it, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks again. Go out. Have a great weekend. Happy Friday. And we'll see you guys back next Friday. Take care. God bless, man. Love you guys. Thanks, right. Matthew. Thanks, man. Thank you. Appreciate yeah, it. Bye, guys. Man.